Hello, I'm Tom Meeks, and this is 3D Design for Fun and Life, featuring Moment of Inspiration, using the uniquely easy noun and verb method. This session is Freeform Lines Noun Group. When we say we use a noun and verb method, we mean that we combine objects, nouns, with actions, verbs, made available to us in Moment of Inspiration through menu pads. Remember, the first menu pad contains all of the nouns we will use in Moment of Inspiration. Pads 2, 3, and 4 contain all the verbs. Menu pad 1 has two tabs. The first is labeled Draw Curve. This is where we find our 2D nouns. If we click on Draw Curve, the menu pad expands to reveal buttons for accessing eight 2D drawing groups. Group 2 is Freeform. There are three methods used to create a freeform line, control points, through points, and sketch. The control points verb method. When we select the control points verb method, the prompt reads pick start point. When we click on the left mouse button to select the start point, the prompt changes to pick next point. This continues until we click on Cancel or click on the starting point. We can drop points far apart or very close, depending on the curve we would like to achieve. Notice that as we move to select the next point, the previous regular point influences the line. It does not remain on the line. There is one option, Make Corner Point. We can create a corner point using this checkbox or by holding down the control key as we select the point position. Corner points remain on the line as we move to the next selection. We'll select the completed curve and turn on show points to see the resulting control points. It can be difficult to discern the point types after the freeform line has been drawn. One way is to drag a point on the line to see if it results in a sharp corner or not. The through points method. The through points method uses the same steps as the control points method, but as we move to select the next point, the previous regular point remains directly on the line. This generally makes it easier to use through points when tracing an image. Corner points are created in the same way they were using control points. We hold down the control key to create a corner point. Through points is our preferred method for creating freeform lines. In fact, we will demonstrate why this is true when we use through points in our example for this session. We'll select the completed curve and turn on show points to see the resulting control points. The behavior of the control points once the freeform line has been drawn is exactly like that of the control points method. The regular control points influence the shape of the curve and the corner points remain directly on the line. The sketch method. When we select the sketch freeform verb method, the prompt says click and drag to create curve. The process ends when we click on the original starting point or by lifting the left mouse button. All freeform lines can be modified later by manipulating their control points. However, using the sketch freeform method can sometimes result in an object having so many control points that it is difficult to alter later. This brings us to a verb that has no button on the Moment of Inspiration interface, rebuild. The rebuild command can help us by decreasing or increasing the number of control points in a curve. We must either type rebuild in the display text box at the bottom of the screen or create a shortcut 
using the options dialog. I use rebuild so frequently that I have defined the shift R combination to invoke the rebuild verb. The rebuild mode we use depends on the shape of the curve we want to control. It's a wonderfully powerful verb that makes our lives a lot easier in many different situations. For our freeform example, we're going to be using through points. Now, I've turned off grid snap, straight snap, and object snap. When I use uh, the through points, I'm really focused on my image that I'm trying to trace. I don't want to snap to an object that's already on the screen because I'm looking at the line underneath and there's nothing to snap to there. To make short little segments where you need tight curves, and you can put in a corner point by holding down control. There you go. And long, longer segments make bigger moves. We're going to need closer points down here. Now, don't worry about getting it exactly right because you can always come back and modify your shape after you've done it. Okay, we'll come back out. Now, I'm coming into the body and then up and we'll make it closed. So now when I do edit show points, I can make modifications to make it smoother. Oh, these all look pretty, pretty good. Uh, down here, we can make a few changes down here to make it a little smoother. There we go. But basically, and what you do is you always click on an empty spot so that you're not moving more than one control point at a time. That looks pretty good. Now, we need to conform the body and the wing together. Well, the best way to do that is to use a different tool to make the body. We're going to go to a, a diameter. This time, I will turn on the grid snap and object snap because I want to use my uh, y-axis. I'm going to snap here. Come in. I think right there looks good. Great. All right. Uh, now I'm going to do the same thing down here. Come up to here. And all right. We, we're going to Boolean Union those. Oops. Select both. Boolean Union those. Done. And we, we need to um, let me turn off my show points. What we need to do here is to smooth those out. So I'm going to go construct fillet. And we have these two sharp corner points. And I'm going to use a five to make those smoother. And once we have that, I can click on my wing and say construct Boolean difference, keep objects, and say done. Now what's happened now is I've conformed my outer wing to the shape of the body. Now what we're going to do is we are going to use the outside and we're going to say construct offset and we'll move to the inside. And we'll get close. It doesn't have to be perfect. Edit, show points. Now you'll notice that uh, with these points here, we have a lot of duplicate points. But what we're going to do is we're going to reduce the number of points using rebuild. I'm going to type in rebuild down into this bottom text box. And you'll notice that I now have reduced the number of 
control point, it's going to be easier for me to work with this. And I'm going to say done. And now I can move. There is a problem here. And what I want to do here is I want to say blend. Now, before I can do that, I need to trim. And to trim, I first need to make a line here. I'm going to cut that line purposely. All right. And I'm going to say edit, trim, cut it with this line. Say done. Now, I'm going to take this line and this line, and we're going to say Construct Blend. Done. And once we have that, we can, that we've blended those together, we can now Edit, Join. That's how we correct these problems where we have control points that lose connection. I'm glad that happened because that's a common problem that we can have happen here. So now let's just use our control points to come around and conform our inside shape just like we did our outside shape. I'm going to add a point or two here. Smooth it out just a hair. There we go. And we're only getting the outside edges here. I do need to get rid of this corner point. Um, and I'll add a point or two here to make it a little easier to bring it around. Delete that point. We don't need too many points here at this point. All right. I think we're pretty close. So now what I'm going to do is create some cutting tools. And I'm going to use the through points to create those. I'm going to hold down Control so that I make a corner point. Come up here. Hold down Control. Make a corner point. Corner point. Corner point. And a corner point. Do the same thing here. Corner point, corner point, corner point, corner point, and closed. I'm doing corner point here. And notice they're not really close, but they're not perfect. So we're going to go ahead and select that, construct Boolean diff. We're going to turn off Keep Objects, and then we're going to select these three new uh, objects that we created, and they will clean up our inside, but we now have to do some work to make them work right. So we go back here. Before you delete a corner point, it's a good idea to add a regular point. I'm going to delete that corner point because that's going to allow us to get a little bit better shape. Actually, that's pretty good. I'm going to add a regular point here, delete this corner point, and now that allows me to come up here. That's actually pretty good. I'm going to add a point here. I'm actually going to add a point here, too. There we go. And I'm going to add a point really close to this corner point. All right. Just smooth things out a little bit. Add a point here, get rid of this point just in case that's a corner point. Yeah, it was a was a corner point. And now we need to add two or three points here to get it back in shape.
There we go. And we'll add a regular point here, get rid of that corner point. We can make this turn a little bit better now. Excellent. All right. And finally, I think we have a corner point down here to get rid of. Let's bring this out here. We'll add another point here. The drawing tools from Moment of Inspiration are really, really good. We can do phenomenal things with our drawing. In fact, it's much easier than any 2D drawing package I've ever used. Well, that looks great. All right, so I'm going to bring this out now. Turn off show points. I'm going to select our wing. And we're going to go transform mirror. I want to turn on grid snap and object snap so we can do the mirror. Now, there may be a couple of problems here. Oh, no, it's not too bad. All right. So this, we've done it. We now have all of the shapes we need to create um, Let's go ahead and we'll, we'll uh, do all of these. Turn that off for a minute. Construct, extrude, we'll say one, and then uh, transform, construct, revolve. There we go. And we have uh, we have a butterfly. As you can see, the drawing tools for a moment of inspiration are fantastic. My tool of choice is through points. And you can always add points. You can modify the number of points using rebuild. It's a fantastic tool if you need to create something from a piece of clip art or trace an object or even a picture of something you have drawn or a picture of something you have taken, uh, like a part that you need to uh, duplicate. Nice tools. This is 3D Design for Fun and Life. 3D Design Courseware based on Moment of Inspiration by Tom Meeks. Freeform line nouns provide the opportunity to create 3D objects with unlimited contours and irregular shapes. The ability to interactively select point types, add, delete, and move control points, along with a powerful rebuild verb, provide excellent and easy-to-use drawing capabilities that rival or exceed those of the most popular 2D drawing packages. Experience has shown that you will come to rely on freeform lines for many, many future projects.